We're here to talk about the second commandment. Let me read it to you. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Now we'll talk about the meaning of the second commandment in our big group, small group time, but what is the name of the Lord our God? If we're not supposed to misuse it, how do we know when we've misused it or not, if we don't know what the name is? Well, I've got some words here on the whiteboard, so let me just walk you through it. In Exodus, when Moses is standing before the burning bush, he is sent on a mission to God's people and he says, who am I gonna say has sent me? What's the name of this God who has sent me to this people in Egypt? And God, out of the burning bush, says, tell them I am has sent you. That name, I am, in Hebrew is Yahweh. Now, in Hebrew, they don't always write the vowels out, and so we just have these four letters, what would be in English, Y-H-W-H, Yahweh. That's the name of the Lord your God, Yahweh. Now, because the Jews did not want to misuse the name of the Lord their God, they did not want to mess up, they started, instead of referring to God as Yahweh, they started referring to him as another word in Hebrew, which is Adonai. Adonai means Lord, but of course this can get confusing because there are some times when, it, when the scripture says Yahweh the Lord, and so calling him Lord, Lord would get a little confusing. So what they started to do is anytime they saw the word Yahweh, they would speak the name Adonai, and they might sometimes say Yahweh Adonai, but they still were very cautious in how they wrote it out. They were even scared that if they wrote the name Yahweh, that it wouldn't be good for them. And so what they started to do was, they took the vowels from Adonai, and they inserted it into Yahweh, and so they got this, Yahowah. Yahowah, which eventually, some Germans got their hands on it, and started to say, Yehovah, Jehovah. And so that's how we have the name Jehovah today. So if you've ever heard anyone call God Jehovah, that's how that came. That's how that came to be. But now we see in our Bible this Lord in all caps. That's sort of our indication that they have taken the name Yahweh there and they've done something like what they did with Adonai and inserted the vowels that Yehovah and we have Lord in all caps. Even your small catechism says that there in the second commandment, the word Lord there is in all caps. And that's how we know that that is God's name that we're reading whenever we see it. Sometimes we'll see it when it's the first L is capitalized and the rest of the letters are lowercase. Sometimes it's all lowercase and it's referring to a Lord, like a king or something. But whenever it's all caps, that's how we know that it is Yahweh, the Lord. But how does this relate to Jesus? Well, remember, Yahweh means I am. In John's Gospel, several times Jesus refers to himself in this way. He says, I am the door, saying that this is the only way that you're getting to the Father. He says, I am the bread of life. All these times, over and over again, he says, I am. And we as Christians have the ability to look back in Scripture and see that this is Jesus referring to himself in many ways as the Lord. In fact, one time when Jesus used that phrase saying, I am, the people were about to stone him. He said, before Abraham was, I am. And they thought he was speaking blasphemy, that he had taken God's name in vain, but he was just telling them how it is. He is the Lord. And so then we see in Philippians chapter two, where Paul says, have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form, he humbled himself by being obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. And then get this, therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. 
What name is that? What name is above every other name? What is the name we're not supposed to misuse because it's God's name? Yahweh. Early on, Paul is referring to Jesus as God and showing him that he is the Lord. We don't take God's name in vain. We don't take Jesus' name in vain. We don't do these things trying to get something out of it for ourselves. We respect God's name and we hold his name sacred because he is the Lord. But he has written his name on you as well. You are a Christian. You are someone who bears the name of Christ and you bear his family likeness in everything that you do because we have his name. Let's pray about this. God, we thank you for revealing yourself through your word and for allowing us to worship you and to be part of your family, bearing the name of Christian. Help us not to misuse your name, but to trust in you and to glorify your name and bring honor to your name. All this we pray in the name of your son, Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen.